In honor of the heroes who fought in the wars, the people of Radnor acknowledge their achievements, courage, dedication, and their sacrifices. Many Radnor graduates have gone on to serve in the American wars, and it is up to the current students to remember and present their achievements to the community. The number of Radnor graduates who became soldiers is abundant, and no soldier can be valued more than another. However, there is one soldier whose history should be noticed, Mr. Horatio Gates Sickle V. Horatio Gates Sickle V was born on October 20, 1921, in Pennsylvania as the third son of Horatio Gates Sickle IV and Francis Doling Ball. Given the nickname Bud, he followed his father, who was a captain in the Navy's footsteps, and entered the Naval Academy in 1940. After graduating June 9, 1943 with the Outstanding Student Award, he became a naval pilot. He then went on to serve in World War II. During his time in World War II, he served alongside his father. Unfortunately, on July 31, 1944, his father died in a plane crash into the sea. Despite his father's tragic death, Horatio continued and went on to serve as a naval aviator in the Korean conflict. After surviving his time in Korea, he went on to become a test pilot. Horatio was a man who survived two wars, but as fate would have it, his death was that of an ironic one. Much like his father, he died in a plane crash July 13, 1956, while testing in an FJ-3 near Billings, West Virginia. He was later buried in Arlington Cemetery July 19, 1956, with full military honors. To conclude, Horatio is one of many soldiers who dedicated their lives to protecting our country. Horatio can be considered one of the lucky ones not to have died at the hands of an enemy soldier or war machine. Many have lost their lives, limbs, and loved ones to the bloodshed of war. The people of Radnor should be aware of the sacrifices that, see, that these soldiers have made and continue to make today. We thank Horatio Gates Sickle for his service and sacrifice. We will always remember him at Radnor High School as he makes us Radnor proud.